Ancient Guardians is the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set which has just dropped. This set introduces three brand new deck building archetypes which includes Ogdotic, Sulfur Cord, and Ursa Arctic. The structure of this set follows just like Genesis Impact as it also includes Collector's Rare in them. We did open up a booster box of Genesis Impact on the channel before and we even pulled a Collector's Rare. So be sure to watch that video right after as well. Let's hope we pull another one from today's opening of our Ancient Guardians booster box. But first of all, I would kind of like to ask all you guys to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings. Also be sure to give this video a like as it greatly helps support the channel. Each booster box comes with 24 packs, and each pack comes with 7 cards with 6 of them being rare and one of them being a hollow of super rare or above. Starting with our very first pack, we got Wavering Eyes, Damage equals Reptile, Venomenaga, Deity of Poisonous Snakes, Skullmeister, Venomenon, the King of Poisonous Snakes, and a La Sofa Cord, Angelia for our Hollow Super Rare. For our second pack, we pulled a Sulfur Cord Scale, Evil Dragon Antana, Magister Paladin the Ascending Draco Slayer, Trade In, Ogdotic Hollow, and Nunu the Ogdotic Remnant. Moving on to our next pack, we got Ayers Rock Sunrise, King of the Feral Imps, Soulful Chord Musica, Trade In, Me Soulful Chord, Altia, Snake Rain, and an ultra rare Abdo Abyss, the Abdodic Overlord, which is one of the cover cards. I gotta say, this card and the Abdodic archetype looks insanely cool. I just really love how the monsters have shadow like embodiments, along with golden mythic armor, making them extremely unique. I am definitely hoping to pull more cards from this archetype. What is your favorite archetype from this set? Also what cards are you guys hoping to get for those who got this set? Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. For our next pack, we have Abdotic Hollow, Trade In, Ayers Rock Sunrise, Evil Dragon Antana, Resulfa Cord Dreamia, Sofa Cord Scale, and Ursa Arctic Mikabilis. In this card, we pull Ursa Arctic Megapolar, Offering to the Snake Deity, Resulfa Cord Dreamia, Trade In, Ursa Arctic Quint Charge, Vipers Rebirth, and another Earth Arctic monster, Mike Polar. I would say Earth Arctic would be my second favorite archetype from this set, as the mecha looking bear's design are undeniably cool.
Coming up with this pack, we have Dino Wrestler Pankatops, Rise of Snake Deity, Ray Sofo Cordremia, Fogo's The Octobic Boundless, Iris Rock Sunrise, and the boss monster of the Sofo Cord archetype, Do Sofo Cord Coolia. Another cover card right here. I personally feel that the Sofa Court archetype looks very similar to the Dream Mirror art style, which could possibly be drawn from the same artists. For this pack, we have Light Serpent, Ignite Reload, Offering to the Snake Deity, Sofa Chord Musica, Zoha, the Ogdotic Boundless, Ursa Arctic Quint Charge, and another really cool Ogdotic monster we have yet to see, Alert, the Ogdotic Dark. Next pack, we have Skull Meister, Dino Wrestler Prankatops, Rise of the Snake Deity, Ray Sofo Core Dreamia, Pot of Riches, and another Ogdotic New Face, Curse the Ogdotic Light. With our very last pack left for the day, and yet still no sign of a collector's rare just yet, let's keep our fingers crossed. And we end with another Nunu, the Ogdotic Remnant. Unfortunately, no collector's rare this time. Overall, we got quite a variety of the three different archetype cards. Like I mentioned from before, the Ogdotic archetype simply looks fantastic. And I'm glad that Konami decided to give reptiles more attention this time. Same goes for Ursa Arctic Bears as well. Unfortunately, we couldn't pull the cover or boss monsters for these guys. Lastly, the Soulful Court archetype looks very colorful and it can be clearly seen that it plays via the pendulum mechanic. What do you guys think of this set and the three new archetypes? Would any of them have potential for competitive viability? Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed watching, be sure to give this video a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings as we open up every single new product on the channel.
as always, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day, great night, wherever you are. Stay tuned for the next video. This is Vault, signing.